Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. Our title of the process is K N N V W C, an efficient K nearest neighbor approach based on various with clustering. The main objective of the process is to introduce the two main parts of K N N V W C, the various with clustering part and exploitation of triangle inequality to efficiently find K N N for a Cauchy object at a reasonable cost throughout the partitioned clusters. Then now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. This work presented a novel nearest neighbor approach based on various viscous clustering called the KNN VWC. This approach is able to produce compact and well separated clusters from high dimension data of various distributions. The quality of a decomposition resource has maximized the efficiency of using triangle inequality to prune unlikely clusters in searching for KNNs. The proposed algorithm shares efficiency feature in producing less overlapping clusters with non-binary partitioning techniques and meanwhile its clustering time is as fast as that of binary partitioning methods. In the experiments, 12 data sets in which vary in domain size and dimensionality have been used. The experimental results have shown that KNN VWC has demonstrated promising and stable performance comparing to seven algorithms. This is a completed uh, abstract of our process. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First our process starts with itself data set selection. So here we are selecting the data set as a uh, diabetes data set. In this we have a 9 attributes AR, a pedigree level, insulin level, serum level and uh, body mass index and, and class labels. In the class labels we have a uh, zeros and 1 values. The 0, 1 predicts um, 0, 1 predicts, uh, predicts the uh, malignant and 1 predicts the uh, benign. After the data has been selected, we have to load the data into the database. Then we have to partition the data by using the threshold. After we partition the data, we have to cluster the data. And after we cluster the data, we have to estimate the distance between the uh, data between the objects. After that, we have to uh, estimate the nearest neighbor results. Uh, by using some distance calculation after that uh, by using that uh, distance estimation so we predict exact results based upon that particular distance finally we evaluate the performance of uh, particular proposed system and existing system by using time efficiency parameter this is a complete data for diagram of our process now let me discuss about the demo of our process first you have to run home.java just right click on that frame and click run file The home page will open here. So our title is KNNVWC, an efficient K nearest neighbor approach based on various risk clustering. Then click next button. Uh, here uh, the data set selection process will be here. So click browse button. Here we have to select the data set for our process. Choose data set. Here we are selecting the Pima diabetes uh, data set. Then click load datum or ember into the database. Then click next. Uh, so here we partition the data, data has been partitioned. Here we are partitioning the data based upon the clients variables in the data set. Here we are partitioning the data as a partition 1 and partition 2. Then next, click next. Here we are merging the data based upon the partitions which we are split over. Then here we cluster the data by using uh, parameter and attribute called the age. By using that age attribute here we cluster the values cluster 1, cluster 2 and cluster 3 then click next button so here we predict the size of the clusters here just click predict size in the here we have a cluster 1 size cluster 2 cluster 3 these are uh, the things which denotes the count values of that particular cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 then after that we have to estimate the distance so click estimate distance distance has been estimated by using the um, exact 
attributes of the diabetes here we are using end times glucose level blood pressure skin and serum level by using the type of informations here we are calculating the distance value the distance value has been calculated based upon these parameters then after that here we predict the results based upon the uh, distance so okay predict the, that particular results is abnormal or abnormal results then by using that here we are going to classify that particular results normal results and abnormal results then estimate the evaluation parameter so just click estimate button here we are having a start time end time and execution time these are uh, the parameters of a time which are in mm, these are in milliseconds so after that by using these parameters we evaluate the performance of proposed system and existing system time efficiency of the proposed system is high and the existing system is low through this we can achieve the efficiency of the system this is a complete demo of our process thank you for watching